Hi there, my name is Chris, sales manager for Sound and Vision in Bolton. We're looking at today the Panasonic SCBTT362 system. The unit itself is a 2.1 system, so you've got a pair of speakers for the front here and the subwoofer. It has an output of 520 watts in total, that's 160 watts per channel for the front two speakers and 200 watts from the subwoofer. The subwoofer itself is downward firing so the bass radiates out very nicely into the living room for you as well. The system itself is a 3D Blu-ray system so it will play the latest 3D Blu-ray DVDs, it will also play normal Blu-ray DVDs and standard DVDs as well. And your normal standard DVDs will also upscale those to get better picture quality out of those standard DVDs also. On the front of the unit you've got a um, iPod dock so you can put your iPod on there um, or your iPhone so you can have your, your music playing through the unit from your uh, iPod or iPhone. Underneath the flap at the front of the unit you've got a SD card reader uh, you've also got a USB socket as well. If you are plugging uh, your uh, memory stick into the front of here through the USB, it will read uh, DivX, DivX HD, uh, MKV files, also MP3 as well. So various options uh, through there for you. Comes with uh, remote control uh, with full on-screen uh, menus for you as well. The unit itself has got various sockets on the rear. Uh, you've got two HDMI uh, inputs and one HDMI out. What we'll do, before we have a look at the menus on this system, it's actually just downloading the latest firmware onto this at the moment. It has full uh, internet capabilities through here as well. Um, so you've got wireless internet capabilities built into the unit, or you can hardwire it through the uh, ethernet port as well. It's just uh, downloading the latest firmware onto the unit before I demonstrate the, uh, the unit to you itself. But we'll have a quick look at the sockets on the rear, why it's doing this, um, and then we'll take a look at the menu system itself. So we've got here your mains connection, which is a figure eight mains lead. Uh, the purple connection here goes off to your subwoofer then you've got your speakers left and right just here as well as we move along you've got a USB connection uh, you could plug your Skype camera into here uh, these are available through Sound and Vision as well you've got full internet services through this uh, unit uh, you can make Skype to Skype phone calls uh, you've then got uh, your LAN connection so you've got an ethernet port if you want to hardwire it for internet services HDMI out from here and two HDMI inputs. So you could feed cable or uh, satellite source into here. Uh, you've then got another HDMI input for, say, a games console. And you can output it all via the one HDMI to the TV. So very straightforward to wire up. FM aerial socket, optical in. Uh, so you've got a digital optical input as well. Then you've got auxiliary audio in. And you've also got their um, composite video out. The on screen menus are now behind us uh, on the TV screen there. On the remote control, you've got a button uh, which says options, and you've got up, down, right, and left on here, which will take you through the different options on here. So, as I said, you have got internet facilities through this particular unit. So, to activate these, go up to network, so just click up and press OK, which is the centre button just on the remote control just here. And we've got internet content, and it will show us what we've got available uh, through the unit itself. So, we'll have services things like uh, YouTube. Skype, as I said before, so you can make Skype to Skype phone calls uh, via this unit. Uh, YouTube just down here, and you just move the cursor along to highlight what service you require. You've got Twitter as well. As we move down from there, you've got more pages which are loading up now for you as well. So various internet facilities through this particular product. As we come out of that menu, we'll just escape from that now, You've got adjustment to set up the particular unit as well uh, to give you different uh, tones to what you're listening to. So if we go down to the sound menu, just press OK. And you've got adjustments for uh, things like uh, clear, flat, heavy and soft. And you'd select accordingly for what amount of bass and treble you would want from the unit itself. If we come down to others, it will take you into a more extensive menu system we can get into the setup menu and then you've got various different options for picture, sound and as we come down that list there you can go into others you've got easy setup as well these particular units are very straightforward to use um, as I said the wiring uh, on the back of the units are very straightforward you're just looking at putting the uh, your satellite into here with the HDMI your games console into here with HDMI and there's just HDMI out then to the TV you wouldn't need a optical lead as well if you are plugging a satellite system into here. You've seen the optical input on the back as well. You need a HDMI and an optical cable from a satellite source so you get uh, the 5.1 uh, surround sound. 
So I said we'll do a full sort of speaker check for you. Then it will ask you, are all those particular speakers working? Can you hear all those? The answer to that is yes. You can then feed the sound from this unit if you've got a, a modern TV. Uh, you've got ARC audio return control via the HDMI, so you can feed the sound from whatever you're watching on the TV, whether it's BBC ITV or a satellite programme, the sound will come back to the unit and play through these speakers just through the HDMI lead. If you've not got that facility, yet again, you've probably got an optical out on the unit, so you can take optical lead from the TV back to this unit and do it that way. So there's different ways of actually getting the sound through the TV. If you have any queries or would like more information on this, what I would say is please give me a call. My name is Chris on 01204 861 861. Only two please to talk through this unit with you. There are many other video clips on our website, which is soundinvision.co.uk. Please have a look on there. There are hundreds of video clips, not just on home cinema systems, but on TVs and speaker systems as well. Or call into one of our stores. This product is on demonstration in both our Bolton and Leeds store. Thank you.